Hello, my name is Dr. Cameron Harden, and I'm a psychologist and author, and I'm also a gay man. And uh, after hearing about the recent um, number of uh, gay and lesbian suicides over the last month, um, I decided that I wanted to say something. If there were teens out there, if there were young people who were questioning, um, who were um, facing um, the idea that they might be gay or lesbian or bisexual or transgender. Um, when I was 13, uh, I was living in a small town in uh, the South to a very conservative, fundamentalist Christian family. And uh, when I discovered that I had feelings for other boys, I knew right away that it wasn't the right thing to tell my parents. Um, unfortunately, back then, we didn't have the internet and we didn't have books in our libraries about gay people. So I knew nothing about it. I didn't even know that there were other people like me out there. Um, so I would look up in the encyclopedia anything that I could find about sexuality until one day I saw the word homosexual and I read that it said uh, a person who's attracted sexually to someone of the same gender and something hit me. I realized, oh my God, there are other people out there. There has to be if there's a term in the encyclopedia for it. Um, and I realized that uh, there was a name for what I was feeling. Um, I kept it a secret and I tried to hide it the best that I could. But at 17, my parents figured things out and they confronted me. And at that point, I had been holding it inside for four years and decided to tell them the truth. And of course all hell broke loose at that point, literally. Um, being fundamentalist Christians, they believed that being gay or lesbian or even different was evil and that somehow Satan had possessed me. Um, and it was, there were a lot of tears and I was very afraid and I was very alone. Um, there were times when it crossed my mind that it would be better just to not be around. Thank goodness I was able to get through that time. Uh, I focused on my school. I had one more year of high school to go. After that, I went to a big university where I met other gay people. I got support. I saw other people that were just like me that had the same struggles that I did. And I also started studying psychology where I learned about other ways of being in the world and other ways of thinking about things. And it really helped me learn how to love myself. And it's not easy when you live in a culture that still some people believe that they're better than you. And they believe that there are second class citizens in this country. But it's not true. Just because you're queer or you're gay or lesbian or bisexual it doesn't make you less than anyone else. I want you to take the time to take care of yourself right now. Don't do anything rash. It does get better. I have a family now. I have a husband that loves me and I love him very much. We've been together eight years. I have a dog. I have a career. I have friends and family. And it breaks my heart to think that you're all by yourself. Call the Trevor Project if you need to. I love you. This is my husband Brad that I was telling you about. And here we are at Rainbow Skate, which we do every Wednesday night. And we love it. And I love him. Well, I love him more. And I just want to tell everyone that I know it seems like it's really hard being young, you're alone, you're isolated, you may not have many friends, but trust me, it really does get better. Just, just have faith, keep pushing forward, and you're going to be happy. It gets better. Be true to yourself. Keep the faith. It'll be better when you get older, it'll be better in the next minute. Keep the faith. It gets better. 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 
We love you. We love you. I love you. We love you. We love you. We love you. Hang, Hang in there. there. It gets better. <laughs>